This is Whispers by Dark. Scary Hospital Stories Number 1. The Evils of Patience Abandoned Souls One fateful night, a young journalist named Emily, driven by an insatiable curiosity, decided to investigate the rumors that swirled around the abandoned hospital. Armed with a flashlight and a recording device, she cautiously pushed open the creaking front doors and stepped into a world frozen in time. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You've clicked on the right video if you like haunted houses, mysterious creatures, and abandoned buildings. This video will tell you three stories that will terrify you and leave you in shock before your next visit to the hospital. So let's get started. The air was heavy with the stench of decay and the corridors echoed with an eerie silence. As Emily ventured deeper into the hospital's lower section, she noticed flickering lights and heard distant whispers that sent shivers down her spine. Undeterred by the chilling atmosphere, she pressed on, determined to uncover the truth. Emily stumbled upon a collection of old medical records in a dimly lit room. The pages told haunting tales of experimental treatments gone wrong, patients left to suffer in agony, and doctors consumed by their twisted desires. The hospital had been a place of unspeakable horrors, its walls bearing witness to unimaginable suffering. As she stepped further into the hospital's secrets, Emily's footsteps echoed through the lonely hallways. Suddenly, she heard a faint rustling sound behind her. She turned around, only to find that the corridor she had just passed through was now completely different. A maze of shifting walls and endless passageways. Panic gripped Emily as she realized she was trapped in the labyrinth in the depths of the hospital. The whispers grew louder, their words twisted and distorted, terrorizing her. Shadows danced along the walls. Their forms were grotesque and menacing. With each passing moment, Emily's sanity began to unravel. She left an invisible presence closing in on her, its icy breath caressing the nape of her neck. Desperate to escape, she ran through the twisting maze, but was stuck inside that dreaded place. In her desperate flight, Emily stumbled upon a hidden chamber. Inside, she discovered a grim operating theater with rusted surgical instruments and blood-stained tables. Dread washed over her as she realized the room held the key to the hospital's darkest secrets. With trembling hands, Emily activated her recording device, determined to document the horrors she had uncovered. But as the device crackled to life, the air grew thick with malevolence. Ghostly figures emerged from the shadows, their hollow eyes fixated on her. They whispered in unison, their voices filled with agony and despair. Suddenly, the room plunged into darkness. Emily's flashlight flickered, casting eerie shadows on the decaying walls. In the moment of pure terror, the spirits of the hospital surged forward, surrounding her. Their spectral hands reached out, clawing at her flesh as she let out a piercing scream that echoed through the night. And so, the journalist became just another chapter in the hospital's twisted history. Another victim lost to its insidious grip. Emily's remains are still at that hospital, and her soul wanders the abandoned corridors. When I first heard the story of Emily, it seemed fake, but the myth of horrors or that abandoned hospital never left my head. Number two, the near-death experience. This story belongs to my strong grandmother, a nurse who encountered a near-death experience. So I will narrate this horrifying story as she told me, so you can feel what I felt. Many people know me as an emergency room nurse, one day, we were on a regular night shift when an elderly lady, who was brought in by an ambulance, was quite ill. We couldn't help her much, because it seemed like she was about to lose her breath. We were unable to track down any known relatives for her. 
we had to keep her in the emergency room overnight because the hospital was already operational. Once again, she had come very close to passing away. There's no doubt about it. After witnessing enough deaths, she was nearly there. Almost unresponsive, extremely pale and cold, breathing irregularly. In addition, the heart rate fluctuates. We lowered the lights and closely checked her computer, essentially waiting for her to pass away. One hour later, the older woman emerged from the emergency room, dressed in a nice outfit. All of us were in shock. When a nurse came to check on her, she complained of hunger and said, feed me. We brought her a chair, a bedside table, and a tray of food from the cafeteria, wondering what else to do. The old lady sat down, finished her meal, and engaged in light conversation with the waitstaff. After walking for nearly an hour, she informed her nurse that she needed to return to bed. After we returned her to bed, she was dead 30 minutes later. Not strictly paranormal, but it's the craziest thing I've seen in 22 years of working in crowded urban emergency rooms. Number three, the haunting of Ward 13, the vengeful nurse. A chilling presence looms in an abandoned hospital, tucked away in the forsaken Ward 13. The air grows heavy with the vengeful energy of a nurse. Her ethereal form, eternally trapped within the lonely confines of the ward. Once a beacon of compassion and care, she seeks retribution against those who cross her path. Long ago, Nurse Lydia Bennett walked the hospital corridors with unwavering dedication, tending to the sick and wounded. Her gentle touch and soothing words offered solace to countless patients. However, her kindness was abruptly extinguished by an act of unforgivable betrayal. One fateful night, Nurse Lydia uncovered a heinous secret within the hospital's walls. Corrupted doctors had been conducting grotesque experiments on unsuspecting patients, inflicting unimaginable suffering in the name of science. Horrified by this revelation, Lydia vowed to expose the truth, threatening to shatter the corrupt foundation upon which the hospital stood. But her intentions did not go unnoticed. The evil doctors, driven by their twisted desires, conspired against her. They orchestrated Nurse Lydia's demise in a sinister act of betrayal, casting her into the depths of darkness that now held her spirit captive. As dusk descends upon Ward 13, a palpable sense of dread fills the air. The flickering lights cast eerie shadows along the decaying walls. Footsteps echo through the lonely hallways, a haunting reminder of the nurse's presence. It is said that her spectral form emerges from the shadows, her gaze filled with fury and a thirst for vengeance. Anyone unfortunate enough to encounter Nurse Lydia is drawn into a nightmarish dance of terror. She seeks retribution against the doctors who conspired against her, draining their life force with a touch as cold as the grave. Her once caring demeanor, now twisted into a sadistic delight, she reveals in the suffering of those who had played a part in her demise. Within the confines of Ward 13, patients and staff become victims of her wrath. The air becomes charged with magical energy as the vengeful nurse exacts her revenge. The sounds of her malicious laughter pierces the stillness of the night an ominous warning to those who dare to cross her path. The ward itself responds to her hostility. Ghostly whispers fill the air, carried on a chilling breeze. Shadows dance along the walls and their forms are contorted and monstrous. The hospital's atmosphere becomes suffocating as if the very walls hold their breath in fear. Yet, hope lingers amidst the darkness a group of brave individuals drawn by a shared determination to bring justice and release the nurse's tormented spirit embarks on a dangerous quest. Armed with ancient knowledge and artifacts, they enter the cursed ward, ready to confront the vengeful nurse and break the cycle of her haunting. As they delve deeper into the heart of Ward 13, the presence of Nurse Lydia intensifies. Her spectral figure materializes before them 
her eyes burning with pain and fury. But the group, fueled by their resolve and armed with ancient rituals, strive to bring peace to her restless soul. In conflict, they uncover the truth of the nurse's betrayal and offer her the redemption she seeks. The vengeful nurse's rage subsides, replaced by a sad acceptance. As the group completes the necessary rites, her spirit is finally released from its spectral prison, ascending to a realm of peace and tranquility. With the nurse's spirit liberated, Ward 13 begins its healing journey. The echoes of her malevolence gradually fade, replaced by whispers of gratitude from the souls she once cared for. Once consumed by darkness, the abandoned hospital now holds a glimmer of hope, forever marked by the haunting tale of Nurse Lydia Bennett and the redemption she ultimately found. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Whispers by Dark.